All right, hey guys, so yesterday there was a new Humble Monthly or Humble Choice. I thought I'd go over all the games and just share my thoughts on them. Again, it really wasn't that spectacular this month. I feel like the quality is sort of going downhill, but you're getting more games, so I guess that counters it a little bit. And beyond that, I do want to mention that the Epic Game Store is continuing to release free games every like two weeks. Uh, so currently you can pick up Offworld Trading Company and Goner, and then next week you can pick up three more games. So if you don't want to spend any money and you're broke like me, go to the Epic Game Store and just play them for free. Uh, but going back, the Humble Choice, it is a little expensive. Uh, you can get three games for $15 or nine games for $20. Those are the two plans. There's the light plan, but you don't get anything, so I don't really understand why that's even there. Um, so yeah, if you guys are planning on subscribing to it, there'll be a referral link in the description below if you get the $15 or the $20 plan. I'd probably encourage you guys, I mean, since it's only a $5 difference, you might as well get the premium plan if you are planning on subscribing. But that allows you to pick nine games from the list of 12 here. And if you were a humble original subscriber, you get 10 games instead of nine. So as you can see, all the claimed ones are the ones that I decided to get. Most of the ones that I just didn't already own. Uh, so let's go through them one at a time. So first up we have My Friend Pedro, which is an action-packed, fast-paced, side-scrolling shooter with a lot of slow motion mechanics and levels that make you feel like you're in the midst of an action movie. It's very enjoyable and it has overwhelmingly positive reviews, so I'd highly recommend trying it out. Then we have Planet Coaster, which is very similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon, although with much needed enhanced graphics graphics, an easy to use editor, and some great scenarios and theme park management systems. The greatest part in my opinion about this game is being able to download other people's creations off the Steam Workshop. People have created some truly amazing custom rides and I would highly recommend trying them out. You actually don't need any of the DLC to try out other people's parks, so that's cool too if you just want to experience the whole game without having to purchase any of the DLC. This also comes with uh, some free DLC as well, so that's definitely a great one to pick up. And then there's F129. 19, which is, of course, a visually stunning F1 racing simulator. You will likely want to own a steering wheel if you want to truly experience the most that this game has to offer, but beyond that, you go straight and you turn left sometimes. There's Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. This is a tactical turn-based RPG very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics with a great deal of strategy, a good story, and some creative characters and levels, so I'd recommend trying that one out. There's Battle Chasers Night War, which is another turn-based RPG, although this one is more traditional with 3v3 battles with loads of unique abilities and a very lengthy 20-hour campaign. So if you like turn-based strategy games, I would recommend Battle Chasers. Next up, we have Exapunks, which is a unique hacking logic puzzle game that focuses more on light scale programming to solve each level. If you have any experience with coding or programming AI, you'll likely enjoy this game, or if you just like puzzles in general, it's a lot of fun. There's Turok, or this is the graphically enhanced remaster of the original Turok game. It's a fun first person shooter with loads of dinosaurs to fight and some light platforming. If you like classic shooters like Doom for instance, you'll probably enjoy Turok. And next up there's Death's Gambit. This is another Souls-like challenging side-scrolling action game. You face off against a large variety of difficult bosses, but visually the art style is great, and once you do defeat some of the bosses it's incredibly satisfying. It's certainly worth a try. And then there's a game called 198X. This is referring to the 1980s. It's a very short one hour experience that kind of tells a story about what gaming was like in the arcades of the late 80s. It's a beautiful story, but you are giving up a choice for a game that only lasts an hour. So it's really up to you if you really like story driven games uh, or if you want something that's a little bit more lengthier. Next up we have Niflheim. This is more of a 2D survival RPG. While it does have a great art style, the combat system is lacking a bit and the game overall feels more like a browser game in my opinion, with very limited uh, uh, in terms of animation. It's a bit simple in terms of design. Uh, but if you like survival games, you might enjoy it. It just wasn't for me. And getting close to the end, we have AI War 2. This is a real-time strategy space game that offers massive scale battles and strategic freedom on planning out your next assault. It's stunning to, to see how many units can be displayed on the screen at once, and you just see all these different starships battling each other. It's really neat to see, and it's a great strategy game as well. 
And then finally we have a game called Etherborn. This is a more relaxing, gravity shifting puzzle game with more of an abstract, visually pleasing style that to me is really enjoyable. It's definitely a good game to play when you want to relax your mind a bit and just have a little more casual experience, especially if you like puzzle games. So I'd recommend Etherborn. Those were all the games for March's Humble Choice. Let me know what you guys think in the description. I would definitely recommend like the first three. They usually put like the most expensive, most valuable games at the top. So Planet Coaster for sure, that's one of my favorites, and uh, F1 2019, that's a very expensive game, and my friend Pedro has overwhelmingly positive reviews. So the top three, I think, are really good. Uh, the rest of the games, it's really up to you. Again, each game is like valued between like 10 to $40, so you're paying $15 to pick three, and you're paying $20 to pick nine. Um, so it is certainly still a good value, it just... Not as good as the Humble Monthlies were in the past, at least in my opinion. Um, but there is some unique games here, and a lot of these games have never really like gone on sale for that much, and they haven't really been bundled before. So if you uh, want to play any of these games, it's worth picking it up in the uh, Humble Choice rather than waiting forever for a good enough sale. Um, but besides that, like I said, it's kind of expensive. If you are planning on picking it up, there will be a referral link in the description below, and you do get a couple more little perks for uh, purchasing uh, the Humble Choice as well. Um, so, but yeah, besides that, make sure you get the free games on the Epic Game Store, and I hope you guys are having a good March. I guess spring is coming up soon. So thanks for watching, and have a nice day.